Hi, my name is Shreyas Nalandigal and I'm a program leader of a non-profit organization called Designer Careers. At DYC, we teach kids for free about different subjects that could be potentially careers. All the lessons are also made by students like you and with commitment, you can start teaching at DYC too. Something about me is that I am a junior at Cupertino High School and I have a hobby of coding as well as I play volleyball for the school team. Now let's get started in the intro lesson for this web development course. Some of the goals for this course are to create your own website by yourself and make other projects to enhance your learning along the way. Your website should market your qualities and be a work that others will admire when they see it. You may be asking, what are the uses for web design? Well, it can be a potential career in the future. You can work as a freelance developer who works at home. You can also work at tech companies for web like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. Furthermore, one important quality of web design is that the languages will used will be act as a foundational skill that can be used to learn future programming languages a lot easier. The languages that will be taught in depth are HTML and CSS. However, JavaScript will not be covered in depth because of how hard and complex it is for beginning programmers. First, HTML is very important for web because this this is the language that will act as the main blueprint or structure for your website. How big are the headers and individual areas of the web page is one example. Many people as well as I also sketch out the rough layout of the web page on paper before even starting to code. CSS is the design and aesthetic of the website which constitutes the coloring, font size and how beautiful your finished project will be. This is where all your creativity will be shown to the viewers. Most websites have a significant amount of CSS in relation to HTML code because the bulk of the website's ability to look professional comes down to the CSS code. JavaScript is the back end of the website where you program the interactivity like pop-ups, transitions, and cool mechanics to make your website original and pop out more. You can also make games that can be played on your website using Canvas and other methods. We will be using GitHub repositories to host your website online for free and have anyone in the world access it and view your finished work. The IDEs uh, that you're using is up to you because the finished project will be the same no matter the IDE. People pick up an IDE for its autocomplete and general aid in productivity for code. I recommend Adam.io for absolute beginners, but if but I will be using both Visual Studio and Adam.io during these tutorials. One way to gain inspiration for your web page is to view professional corporate websites like Apple and Microsoft. However, they have a very big team that updates and keeps their websites running all the time. So don't be alarmed if you can't make a professional looking website like these top tech companies. In conclusion, web design is a very rewarding skill to have because it can be a possible career, a stepping stone into STEM, be a foundational language for future programming languages, and a great way to impress colleges. Learning to find help on a part you're stuck on is almost as important as coding the entire website. The best resources for you to find solutions are from W3Schools and the Mozilla Developer Network Docs, or MDN. Before the next lesson, I suggest going through each of the sites and looking through how to navigate them and uh, find solutions very easily. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me through Discord and join my server that will be posted on the GYC website soon. I will be going over the installation of the IDEs and the best way to learn in the next lesson. Thank you. Hi, this is lesson two of this web development course. I'm going to be going over installation and learning methods. The first point I'm going to be going over is the best way to learn from these online videos. And this is a, this is called active learning and this is way better than passive learning because you gain full comprehension of what you're taught rather than gaining half comprehension and not being able to remember what you learned. 
So um, the next topic will be uh, how to install Atom.io. And Atom.io is, uh, is the best platform for beginners in order to uh, make websites. And uh, I recommend it to all beginners. If not Atom.io, you can uh, download Visual Studio Code and um, it'll still be as good. You can, uh, uh, we're also going to be installing packages inside Atom.io, some that are already in Visual Studio and some that are not. And uh, this will make the coding experience a lot more fun and a lot more um, like pleasing to, to look at and uh, way, uh, like much more productive. Hi guys, my name is Shreyas Nalandigal and this is lesson two of this web development course. I will teach you about how to install the IDEs that you prefer and the best way to learn and retain as much information as you can in every lesson. First, let's go over how to learn from these lessons. Each lesson should take about 10 minutes long so that it is not too long to learn and not too short. Most students watch tutorials online and type as, mu as they w watch the video. This is not a very good way to learn code. This is a very passive learning style, which is not fully understanding it and just typing away. You should watch the video and try to understand the purpose and the code. Once you understand it, then you start coding it as much as you can and replicate it. If you can't fully replicate all of it, then feel free to look back only after you wrote the code to your fullest capability. This is a very good form of active learning and absorbing the content at a good pace. Remember, active learning is the best way to learn the most content in a short amount of time rather than learning with a passive learning style which does not give you full comprehension and many students make these mistakes. Now let's get ready to the installation for the IDE. Let's go to atom.io which is uh, you put that into Google and then you get to this website. Then uh, Atom.io website will automatically detect uh, which OS software you have installed, which is I have window, Windows right here, and just click download, and it should appear in your downloads folder, and it might take some time, but that's that's very fine because it's a big it's a big folder, yeah, and once you finish the downloading you go to your downloads folder and you have it right here so you just have to double click it and then finish the installation and uh, after you finish the installation um, I already have it downloaded so you open it up and it might have uh, a welcome page you just uh, just don't click just don't click that and you click we're gonna be downloading the packages right now which are very useful to um, atom.io users so um, now let's get into the packages and download a few that are essential to starting your web development journey these packages are created by the community so that the experience is significantly better than using atom to code Luckily, these packages are free for your use and will only take a few seconds to download on Atom. So we're going to be downloading four packages that are very good and are, uh, that make the experience significantly better. And uh, these packages can be attained by going to Packages, I mean going to File and Settings. And then once you, once you go to Settings, you go to Packages here and you search up Emmet right here as this one. Uh, you just click install and it automatically installs. Then type in beautify. Beautify. It's called Adam Dash Beautify. This is very good. It has like seven million downloads. This is what it shows here. And just click install for this. And click pigments and install this and last one is auto close HTML and install this so that 
so once you install all of them you you would go to the community packages and would have four here but I have 15 and uh, these are not really that useful I just keep them I don't know why but like it makes it a lot easier to look at the code so after you downloaded these four these four packages let's create our first HTML file by clicking file and new file and you can uh, first let's uh, write let's uh, save this by clicking file save as so that it knows it's an HTML file so you can just put it on the desktop I'll uh, type in index dot HTML and set this to all type all files and click save so now you just created your first HTML first HTML file and now once you have your um, once you have your packages open uh, since you have you already downloaded the packages it'll be a lot easier to look at the code but we're gonna create our first HTML file which we already did and do our boilerplate and this boilerplate is a uh, is like the basic template used for every HTML file so you just have to uh, for Adam it's very easy to create it you just have to type in HTML and then click enter and it automatically creates the the HTML boilerplate so this line here makes it so that uh, it knows that it's a it's a HTML5 document and um, this is this is the head tag where you put all uh, like all your um, what you initialize the, the the file into and the title is what uh, appears when you like on the very top next uh, in the tab it uh, it shows what the title is and this is this is what the title looks like right here that's the title and the header includes the head in, uh, the head tag includes the header and anything else that you want to initialize and the body is everything else inside here and even the scroll bar and the there's a footer as well which is not here but the footer um, is like where you put your copyright and whatnot on there. I think that would be. I think that's it for this lesson. And um, I will teach you more about HTML and uh, different tags and whatnot in the in the next lesson. Thank you. Hi, this is lesson three, and this is going to be the introduction to HTML. We're we're going to be going over the very minimum basics of HTML. And uh, we're going to be uh, looking at like different websites that are like that are very basic and writing your first lines of code. Uh, the things that we're going to be looking at are headers and uh, paragraph tags, which are some of the basic tags. And uh, this will uh, be the stepping stones in order, you, uh, in order for you to make uh, the best website possible. And um, uh, we can see like we can have a live preview of how your website evolves over time. And uh, you should be very proud once your website is finished. Hi, my name is Shreyas Nalandigal, and this is level three of this web development course. In this lesson, I will introduce you to HTML, the structure and framework of every website. Web development via code is no easy feat because there is a lot of tags plus properties to remember. Every time you write code, you get better and learn something. If you're stuck anywhere, then feel free to contact me and I will definitely answer your question as soon as I can. Now, let's get into the fun stuff and talk about what HTML actually is. When you create an HTML file, your browser is meant to interpret it and create a website with it. Remember that HTML is the foundation, so you are able to create a website out of just HTML code. You can't create a website with only a CSS or only JavaScript, but you can with just HTML. Now let's open your project in in Atom, and let's go to the the head, and there should be a body, right? Head and body. So just delete the head because we don't need it right now, and we are just at the body. So you should have a boilerplate already uh, there from the last lesson and um, right now 
Uh, we're going to download another package that we forgot to download and uh, this is pretty essential so, uh, for you to work in Atom.io. So let's, uh, let's again go to File, Settings and go to Packages and then type in atom-html-preview and un uninstall this. Uh, this is this makes it so that you can have a live feed of uh, like the changes you make, and uh, this will allow you to see your finished project in real time, so that you can see the changes and make your website and see it grow and become something extraordinary. So once you downloaded the package, now it's time to start writing your first lines of code. So in your in your HTML file. Uh, type in two angular brackets which are these and type in h1 inside like this h1 and then press enter and type in your and your closing bracket which is one angular and slash uh, html inside yep like this and this is an opening bracket right here. This is closing tag. And inside, you can create, you can type in your header, which is, I'll put Shreyas's bio, like this. And in order to see the live feed of this, you go to packages and uh, search to see if you have preview HTML and click enable preview and there you go it popped up so every time I I edit this it has a live preview and so what we created um, is an h1 tag which is uh, h1 is the biggest of the header tags and the smallest is the h6 so inside the body uh, put the text in between the opening and closing tags to create different size titles in order to do that you just uh, click you just type in h2 and then click enter and it automatically creates the, the opening closing tags for you because of the plugins that we installed already and type in uh, a header that you want to put like just say Shreyas's hobbies and you see how the difference here one of them is bigger and one of them is smaller so as you go down the smallest is h6 and the biggest is h1 and so this makes it so that uh, uh, Google Chrome knows that h1 is a header and um, all the other ones are just uh, smaller headers so in in HTML you use the the h1 the biggest as like the like in an article you put that as the title and in h2 for the author name or whatnot so you would put like the great Gatsby as the biggest title and then you put by Shreyas Nalandigo that would be or you can put this as like a smaller version so you put like 8.6 which is the smallest one very small though so we can put that back to like h3 and see that's that's the right fit right there that's very good okay so now you just created your first line of code but next time now uh, in the next portion we are gonna create a paragraph tag which is the same thing uh, where you put two angular brackets and two and a closing bracket like this but then inside you put a P and a P here and this creates a paragraph tag and so you can type in anything you want like hi my name is Shreyas and I love bagels like this and that's a paragraph right there it's not going to be bolded it's going to be normal sized text and not bolded and that's how you create descriptions if you want or if you're writing a story that's how you create the normal text and titles here and then the author names here and now since you know the paragraph tag and you know the h 
the h1 tag the header tags over here now let's create a bio this is a small test here and just create you you should keep the everything that that that's inside um like inside the actual website in the body while the header is meant for um initializing stuff which i already said in the other lesson but uh this is a test and uh, I'll show you how to make it after you try and I'll give you a few seconds to see if you can make it. Okay, we're back. Uh, you can pause the video and um, if, you, if you wanted to make this and you can send it to me if you wanted. But uh, here's the finishing thing. So I've this is how you make a bio right here. So you can delete this one and uh, go to packages and click enable preview. And this is this is a bio right here. So you have a paragraph tag and you have an an H1 tag, and you put in the description here. And uh, this is how you make a bio. So we learned the basics of HTML in this episode. I mean, in this lesson and uh, in the next lesson. We're going to go into more diff difficult concepts. Thank you. we will be going over lesson four of this full HTML crash course. So in this lesson, we're going to be learning about the different tags, which have opening and closing tags, and the other tags which don't have closing tags. We're going to be embedding videos from YouTube and uh, images from online. Instead of just downloading it, you can embed it from the website. We're also going to be making many tables and learning how to make them inside HTML. And we're also going to go over many different styles of text, like bold, italic, highlighted, subscripts, superscripts, and whatnot. So let's dive right into it. So we're we're in our we're in our um our HTML page, which we initially had in last lesson, and uh, we're going to go over. Uh, what like what the title is and uh, this is the title where uh, on the tab in the middle of in the middle of the uh, tabs like place here this is where the title is and uh, this, I'm gonna name it uh, Shreyas's website which you should name your name and then website as well and we save it and uh, this is a live preview of what we write in here so in our body section uh, remember we we typed in um, h1s you remember h1s and then this is uh, the largest header and we're gonna put like Shreyas, Shreyas's life something like this it's gonna be very big and there are six different headers from h1 to h6 h2 is a bit smaller and it goes it goes uh decreasing it decreases the the size each time like this see how cool that is that's very cool so these are all the six different types of headers. And if you notice that if I type in H7, if I type in H7, uh, which it doesn't auto-complete, so I have to type it myself, uh, like this, it's going to be normal text. And it won't, um, it'll be just as regular as uh, saying Shreyas's life, like this, see? Very same. So there's no H, H, H7 that exists currently. So now um, let's go into our our paragraph tags as we mentioned the last lesson, uh, which are just normal text in paragraph format. So you can add your descriptions here, like "Hi, my name is Shreyas, and I like to code." See, this is a paragraph. We can have many paragraphs as well and it'll all be separated so we can say hi my name is Shreyas and I like to code and eat lots of food 
and they're going to be have a lot of spacing in between and this is where you write your descriptions so now let's introduce the hr tag which is a a regular tag without a closing tag so it's just an hr and then and then it brings out a horizontal rule which then it hr stands for horizontal rule and you can add line breaks over here anywhere you want and uh it's very nice to separate out your your um your your different parts of the website and this is uh, very nice to have so I'll just keep it and we also have the um we also have a space tool which is uh called BR and uh if you put BR like in between the paragraphs it's going to put a line space in between and you can put as many as you want so like if I keep typing br br br, it's gonna make it so that there's a lot of space in between, like that. So you should never have text that is not inside a tag. Like uh, if you want normal text, you always put in the p tag, but you should never have text that's outside of a tag. So um, let's go to Wikipedia and let's search up. And let's search up some random article, like we can search up uh, HTML. And you see how um, how like uh, ordinary this website is? It's because it's mostly HTML. And uh, in order to find the code of, uh, of this website, you can look at the code for any of the website. You just have to... Uh, oh, wait. Um, no, never mind. That's only on... Uh, that's only on Google Chrome. Sorry, I'm using Opera. So let's go to Google Chrome. And if you type in Wikipedia, Wikipedia, and HTML, if you type that in, and you go to this link. So if you're on Chrome, then you, you, can, you can highlight it and right click and click inspect. And what inspect does is it shows you the code of um of the website and uh, you can edit it and it's only going to be local on your computer so if i if i double click it and uh let me find let me find html here so i can edit it uh, that's weird oh okay so i can double click it and then and uh edit it so i can say Hi, this is Shreyas, and it changes. And this is only going to be there for in your local computer. So once you refresh it, uh, it's going to be gone. So you can change, you can do some jokes with your friends or whatnot, and it's going to be pretty cool um, if you like make stuff in the in the inspect element. And you can also make websites in the inspect element as well and see them live. So let's go back to let's go back to the Atom page, and we're back at our website. And let's work on putting an image down. So let's go out of our HR and then put an image. So to put an image, it's just image, and then there's a source and alt. So this image tag does not have an ending tag like like which is similar to HR and BR. And so if you want an image, you put in the link here of the JPG. And then if for some reason um, the browser is not able to load the image, you type in the image description in here. So if you want like uh, like an image of a soccer ball, you type in soccer ball here to let the to let the um, the engine know that it's a soccer ball image. And let's let's find a soccer ball image. So we can just do we can just type in soccer ball on Google and get an image and we can let's get this image. We can copy we can right click this to copy image address, right like here. And we go back to our go back to our website and then we put in put this in. And this should in fact once we save it be 
Oh, see, yeah, it's a way big. It's a really big image. So it's like, so in order to change the width of this, you would go to you just put width equals um like fifty percent something like this, and oh, and it, the width became fifty percent, and it and it it uh it changes proportionally. So if we put height instead of instead of width, uh, it doesn't change much, but if we put width, it changes a lot. Okay, so we added our soccer ball image. Uh, next, we are going to embed a YouTube video. So if you go onto YouTube, let's go to a YouTube video, and uh, let's click one of them. Click this. Oh, I used to watch a lot of, I don't know, wasp removals. So let's take this video and click share and uh, click embed here. So once you click this embed, you get to have this HTML code. So you can copy this or just click copy here and then go to, go to your um, website and then you can click, you can just uh, paste it anywhere inside the body. Let's uh let's paste it right after the image, and it's it's a lot of it's a lot of code, but I'll explain in a second. And you have the video, and you can play it if you want as well. And uh, this is the iframe tag, which uh, will not be a going over, but you can change the the width and height if you want. So let's have the width as six hundred and the height as three hundred. And it's going to be fairly, fairly big, fairly big width, and not so big height. And that is how you embed uh, a YouTube video on your on your website if you want to. You just it's super easy. You just have to uh, click share and then click embed, and you copy the link address and then just paste it onto their website. So uh, the next thing I'll be going over is uh, to make a comment. And comments are um, are things where the like the browser won't detect, and it will uh, will just be like co it will just be text where um, the browser won't interpret because it's in a certain it's in a certain um, like like way of typing it. So to, in order to make a comment, you go uh, like angular bracket slash like this, and then you put hi, my name is Shreyas. And then uh, to close it, you just put, you just um, you do two dashes and an ang another angular bracket. And so you see how once I save it, um, it doesn't include. It's not inside my, uh, my my website. It's, so that means that it doesn't get registered. It doesn't like get read, and it's not put into the website. So now let's uh, let's create a link. So in order to do this. Uh, you we can put like an like some different text, and we can put like a link in it, and so you see how um if w when I press enter this many times uh, it doesn't change right, uh it's because like when in order to like put line breaks in between you put the br instead of just uh, clicking enter many times because the the white space inside the code doesn't matter much so you s because um. Like it doesn't need it, like the white space is just for uh, organization. So if you if I press enter a many many times, it doesn't change. So, so like it the white space doesn't really matter. So if I press enter many times and put something in here, so I'm gonna put an a tag, and uh, this href is a link. And so if I want to link to like a different like if I want to link to this YouTube video, I just uh, get this YouTube video link, copy it and paste it in here and then I can in the text I can put like this is the hornet's nest removal and you see how um, the hornet's nest removal the text is is um, blue and if I click it it automatically goes to uh, this this YouTube video so that's uh, that's pretty neat in fact so let me just close this and open up the preview again. And yep, it's here. So that is how to 
uh, make the link using text and you can put any link in there and you can also link between two different web pages which I'll address later so um, in order to uh, you, in order to make a link you don't need a lot of text you can just even put a single letter and you can just click it and it, it goes to the YouTube video so the next thing that I'll be uh, going over is lists and lists are like uh, bullet points or numbered lists so in order to get an unordered list which is bullet points you just uh, go uh, you just type in ul and press enter and li for the different list items and you type in um, like like if you want to like have like uh, like put h1 and uh, say says hobbies let's just name your hobbies and uh, inside the li just put um, playing games and Every time you uh, put another list item, you have to put li uh, in between the two, in in between uh, the text. No, no, um, the text goes in between the tags, and uh, the next one I'll put drinking, drinking water, um, web development, obviously, and let's put game development. And so if you if we scroll down, you see how we have our list here. And if you want to change this to um, an ordered list, which is numbers, we can uh, put uh, we can put uh, ordered list, which is ol, and then li in between. So if we want to have like an h2, and then um, if we have like number of steps, right? So we can have a procedure procedure for science experiment we can put number one uh, put your gloves on or something your gloves put your gloves on next you uh, get the beakers next you get the Bunsen burner next you you Turn on the Bunsen burner, and you see here we just made our ordered list, and it it counts off as one, two, three, four, in between. And if you want uh, to have more spacing in between, you can put a br tag, and uh, it has spacing in between. So br are and it has spacing in between like this and it looks a, it's a lot more pleasant to the eyes so uh, now let's go over tables and tables are pretty unique in HTML uh, because you can have like a set of data values inside a normal inside a table like uh, like if you search one online like tables are pretty cool so, like if you go to if you go to this uh, WT schools which is a really good resource uh, to learn more about HTML, if you type in tables. Oops, tables, and it brings us to uh, this. And it, you can create something like this. And uh, in order to find the code for this, you click try yourself, and then you can just copy this code in here, and then uh, you'll you'll you come up with this uh, really cool HTML table. And so in order to make a table, uh, you just type in table here, table, this, and then we have a table header, which is T header, T head, sorry, T head, and then this is where all the bolded text goes in. And so to make a row, you put TR, which is table row, and uh, inside the table row, you put TD, which is table cells, and then uh, you, you have to like like an uh, like a list. You have to put li and li list item list item list item. This time you put each cell. You have to put td. So if I want to like make a chart like name, and then uh, td email, then td uh, age age td ssn or <laughs> whatever. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the title right here. 
and then that's the tea head but then in the tea body which is the body of the table we can put in tr and uh, for each row and then td uh, shrimps td email is um let's say shrimps this is fake shrimps at gmail dot com gmail dot com td age twenty three no that's not my real age ssn I don't know something like that and you come up with a table like this and which is super sick and you can put as many entries as you want you just have to make a new row each time uh, if, if I want to do my mom or something like this oops I could just make I just let me just copy this and it shows up like this so that's a table for you and uh, next we can uh, do divider tags and uh, divider tags are divs, which uh, which just separate the they don't they don't do anything, but they just separate the different uh, aspects of your of your website, and it keeps it very organized. So if you want to have your um, if you want to have your table, if you want to have your table in in a whole in a whole div. Just put it here and it just becomes organized and then you can just put div class table like this or table name or something like that and you can access it later when you're doing CSS but we're not doing CSS in this tutorial and uh, you can like uh, put divs dividers uh, in 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 your different parts of your website to make it more organized the next thing I'll be covering is uh, link web pages with the a tag and the href tag. And uh, to do this, we are just going to uh, make a new file uh, in our in our in the same in the same folder as uh, your actual web page. And we're just gonna make a new file here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it and uh, save it save it as uh, just make it um, uh, Oreo or something oreo.html and uh, put it in uh, put it in, let me see test yeah test and if I type in HTML make the boilerplate uh, you you can uh, link the h you can link the um the different web pages so let me make another div uh, div tab wait where did my body go body oh um my, the table is supposed to be in my body let me just fix that real quick um there okay and then i can Inside my body, I'll just put another a tag and type in uh, Oreo. Oreo. Dot html. Oops. Right, and then uh, I can put the the name. I can just put new website or home like this, and it should pop up here. And then if I click this, if I click this, I go to my other web page. But then in order to access it. Uh, let me just put uh, Oreo in order to like fully see if it works. Let me just put some like H1. Hi, this is Oreo. Like this. And once I go back, I, let, let's go to home. And yeah, see, it goes automatically to the next one. And you can link different, um, you can link uh, different web pages using the A tag. And inside the, inside this Oreo, I can link it to the other one, which is cookie cookie.html and go to cookie and if I go to home and go to cookie it goes automatically back to home and then I can keep doing that keep switching between them and uh, let's go over the header and footer of of um, of these different uh, websites and 
outside of the head, the head is where you initialize stuff. Uh, outside of the body and the head, you put header. And this is where your navigation, like uh, in certain pages, like uh, you see, like in, in this, this is, this is where all the header is right here. Like this entire part right here. That's where all that's that's where all like the different boxes and like the navigation and your logo. That's where it goes. This is the body over here. And if you go all the way down, there's a footer right here. And it's better if I can like see this video. If I go down, um, is there a header here? Is there a footer? No, let's. YouTube is not a good for this example. Let's go to. Um, Facebook, oh, not, not Facebook, Amazon. Let's see Amazon. Uh, um, if I go all the way down, and you see this, this is a footer right here. You put your uh, privacy use, uh, you put your copyright, your affiliates, you put your different links, contact me. That's where the footer goes, and that goes outside of the body. So in this header, we can put um, our logo, and which is an image. We can put the soccer ball image, where is that, as our logo. And we can't shape it yet because we're not using, we're not using CSS. And so we put our logo here and we can say, um, hi, this is Shreyas's, Shreyas's life. And that's where uh, the header is, and then outside of the body, we should go all the way down, we put a footer, and then this is where the copyright symbol goes. And so we can put like copyright, copyright 2020, 2021, and that's where the footer goes. And uh, the next thing that I'll go cover is uh, different types of text. And uh, you can go over this by uh by just uh getting like okay let's make a paragraph outside of the inside the body we just make another paragraph and then we can type some random stuff let's go here and and then in between we can put uh we can bold text by doing strong by using the strong tag and then we let's just highlight this information and put it in there and uh you get you get the um, bold text and then you can also use M the M tag oops um, you can just use the M tag which is italicized which is emphasized it's uh, M for emphasized which is italicized text as you can see over here and the last one is I mean that's not the last one uh, you can use a uh, small as well small which uh, makes, text su makes text super small. Oops. Uh, super small. Uh, you see right here. Makes text super small. You can also have it so that uh, text is also a superscript. Oh no, text, text is marked up as well. You can make text marked up by... Which means highlighted, as you can see here. We can also have text. We can also have text uh, as subscripts and superscripts. So we can just put sub uh, sub. This finds okay sub. We can just have a sub as a a very very small text as well. We can also have sub for superscript and uh, you see how it's uh, super below there super above and if you put uh, text right next to it you can you can see the proportionality of this so uh, I think that's gonna be the end for this huge crash course for HTML I thank you for listening all the way to the end uh, uh, if I to clarify this uh, you can contact me or um, or someone else in DYC to uh, ask any help. Uh, remember that W3 Schools is a very good source. Sorry, is a very good source if you get stuck on. And also MDN. 
MDN is also really good, which stands for Mozilla Developer Network. And they have really good and really, um, really good and really descriptive docs if you have trouble with it. So I think that's going to conclude the, um, this lesson. Thank you so much for listening all the way and goodbye. Thank you for watching. For details, visit www.designyourcareers.org or send an email to info at designyourcareers.org. Subscribe to our channel, Design Your Careers, and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss a video.